Dear students, today we will discuss numerical based on centrifugal pump. So let's start. So let's solve few problem on centrifugal pump. So we are considering this numerical. The impeller of a centrifugal pump has an external diameter of 450 mm and internal diameter of 200 mm and is run at 1440 rpm assuming constant radial flow through the impeller at 2.5 meter per second and that the vein at exit are set back at an angle 25 degree determine inlet vein angles the angle comma absolute velocity of the water at the exit makes with the tangent and work done per n of water per n of water means per rot uh, speed of water so let's try to solve this problem so at first at first you have to draw the velocity diagrams suppose this is the vein of the centrifugal pump and this is the inlet velocity inlet which is already given this is radial in the numerical so this is your alpha this is your theta this is your u1 this is your v r1 this is your v1 is which is equal to v f1 here alpha is 90 degree and v w1 is equal to 0 let's draw the outlet velocity diagram it is like this where this this angle is phi this angle is beta this is v2 v f2 v r2 from here this point is v w2 from here to this point is u2 so this is the velocity diagram of inlet and outlet so let's find out what are the given data here internal diameter of the impeller impeller is this. that is d1 is given 200 mm so it is 0.2 mm 3.2 meter so similarly external diameter of the impeller that is d2 which is equal to 450 mm so is equal to 0.45 meter then speed of the speed of the impeller The speed of the impeller that is n is given 1440 rpm here it is problem given that flow velocity velocity of flow velocity of flow is constant so this is f1 is equal to f2 which is equal to 2.5 meter per second this is given here and vein angle at inlet vein angle at not inlet actually vein angle at outlet is given outlet is phi is given here phi is given so this is the problem so 
assume that constant radial flow through the impeller this is 2.5 and vane angle at exit are set back at an angle 25 so that's why so phi is 25 degree so from this data you have to find out the other solution so let's find out at first find out tangential tangential velocity of the impeller of the impeller at the inlet so you have to find out u1 so u1 is pi du1 n by 60 so if the if you put the value this is pi into 0 0.2 into 1440 divided by 60 you will get 15.08 meter per second now from inlet velocity triangle this inlet velocity triangle then theta is vf1 vf1 divided by u1 so this is 2.5 divided by 15.08 which is equal to 0 0.1658 so theta is equal to 9.5 degree so this is your van angle at inlet theta 9 point After that, find out tangential velocity at the outlet. At the outlet, so u two is equal to pi d two n by sixty, which is equal to pi into 0.45 into 1440 divided by 60 after calculation you will get 33.93 meter per second now from outlet velocity triangle you will get wv2 is equal to u2 minus vf2 divided by 10 phi so if i put the value here 33.93 divided by 2.5 divided by 10 25 so after calculation you will get 28.58 meter per second so then find out 10 beta 10 beta will be vf2 divided by vw2 so 2.5 divided by 28.58 which is equal to 0 0.0875 so beta will be almost 5 degree so this is the second one then after this you have to find out work done 
per n of water so which is equal to w v2 u2 divided by g we already know so it is 28.58 into 33.93 divided by 9.81 so it will be 98.81 newton meter so this is the complete solution of this problem so if you look at the problem here inlet van angle the angle of the absolute velocity of the water at the exit to make the tangent so here this angle you are talking about beta this angle this angle so if i put here this is the tangent here actually so this angle is equal to this angle so that's why it is same And this is work done per n of water is also already it is derived so this is the problem I hope you understand so let's try the another problem here a centrifugal pump is to discharge 0.118 meter per second meter cube per second at a speed of 1450 rpm against the head 25 meter the impeller diameter is 20 uh, to 250 mm its width at the outlet is 50 mm and monometric efficiency is 75 percent determine vein angle at the outer periphery of the impeller so this is the problem so let's try to solve it so this is the velocity diagram for this particular numerical suppose so in this problem the given data are here discharge is given discharge that is q 0.118 meter cube per second speed of the impeller is given that is n is given 1450 r m then here head is given that is monometric head is given which is 25 meter diameter diameter of a impeller at the outlet outlet is given this is d2 250 mm which is equal to 0.25 meter and with not only diameter diameter and width of the width of the impeller it on the impeller at the outlet which is b2 suppose it's given by 50 mm which is equal to 0 0.05 meter and monometric efficiency is given which is 75 so those are the given data so at first find out Tangential, tangential velocity at outlet u2 is equal to pi d2n by 60 which is equal to pi into 0 0.25 into 1450 divided by 60 so after calculation it is it will be 18.98 meter per second now as you know 
your discharge q is pi d to b to v f two v f two. So from this, from this formula, you can find out v f two. So v f two will be q pi d two b two. So q is point one one eight by pi point two five into point zero five. So after calculation, it will almost became three meter per second. Three meter per second. So find out. Monometric efficiency. This is this is given by Z monometric head divided by W V one U one W V two U two not one because it is radial. So from this you have to find out V W two. So this will be this is point seven five nine point eight one into twenty five V W two, and this is eighteen point nine eight. So after calculation V W two will be. Seventeen point two three meter per second. Now, from the velocity triangle at outlet, ten phi is equal to v f two, and this is u two. W V two. So this is basically this one, ten phi, which is equal to this portion and this. So this portion can be divided by this minus this. So this one. So if I put the value here. Which is this is three. This is eighteen point nine eight minus seventeen point two three. So your phi will be phi is equal to fifty nine point seven five degrees degree. So this is the Van angle at outlet. So this is almost sixty degree. You can say. So by solving these two problem, I think you understand the numerical how to solve problem based on centrifugal pump. and try to solve few problem from the book and thank you stay safe